Hello, uh, this is an antenna tuner, a QRP antenna tuner that we are trying to uh, see how it's working. And uh, uh, this is a short test that will show you that it is working or not. So I have uh, used a, a USDX uh, set which is on 14 megahertz, and I'm using an SX200 uh, diamond antenna tuner come as a blue bridge and uh, this QRP tuner from China. So uh, let me now test this in CW mode on uh, 14 megahertz and um, first I will test it on uh, forward mode. This is forward, this is power. So when I press the PTT, this is going to show me the forward power. So I see a forward power of around 1 watt. So this transceiver gives around 1 watt. So I am seeing 1 watt. So now if I press uh, this back to SWR, now I want to read the SWR. So I am on the SWR position and on the reflected side. So now let me see if there is an SWR. Showing no SWR. Now I want to minimize the SWR still. Yeah. So I can see it's rising and I can adjust it to flat. So there is no SWR. So basically the right hand capacitor what I see is doing the main job. So this is also is doing. So it is basically a T network. So both are being adjusted. So I put it to zero now i'll again switch back to the forward mode now i'll switch on to the forward mode again now i'm on forward mode see again i'm getting i'm getting a power of one watt this led doesn't seem to be doing a great job so I am not trusting the LED. So I believe that if you have a good SWR meter, uh, then it would be much more useful. And um, at the top position, this right hand position is basically for uh, for being on the forward side. Like this has to be on the forward side. Otherwise, if you put it on the left this side or left hand side this basically has a resistor network that is 50 ohms to basically test the transceiver so basically what i found that on the right hand side only of the switch it works if you put it on the left side that basically connects to a dummy load so we'll do a test again so again i'm uh, see again i'm on 14 megahertz i'll do a test again so i am uh, on Presently on forward position, so this this bar is on forward position. So I'm transmitting. I'm getting a power. Let me peak it a bit. Let's see if I can peak it a bit. Yeah. Okay. Now I'll switch to the SWR. Now I'm on the SWR position. So I think so I have to reduce it due to some setting of the other capacitor. Okay. So there is no SWR now. So now let me put it back on the forward position. See I am getting one watt. Now let me put it back to the SWR position. No SWR again to the power position forward position so it's working okay what I believe is that if you have a SWR meter it could be much more useful because if you rely on the LED LED that is connected uh, that doesn't seem to be working good so my suggestion is that if you have a SWR meter, you can use this. If you don't, then you can just peak uh, the maximum audio gain you are getting from the antenna 
the maximum gain uh, the RF when you monitor that the signal is becoming strong you can either do it that way or if you have an eligible armature that would be much more 